Ever wondered how the uh, cable companies and phone companies get that cable up in the air? Well, wonder no more, because they were doing some fiber work out on my street today, and we caught them on camera. Let's see how they do it. Here they come. The AFL guys are installing fiber up my street. Uh, they've just started pulling the fiber up. Just up a couple, couple poles down from my place now. And we'll be getting fiber optic brought in here real soon. They're getting closer. That'd be a fun job. Riding in the back of the Telstra. That's a spin up cable. So that's called the NAP, the Network Access Port that is hanging there, and that will serve about eight houses. It has eight ports on it, so we'll typically set them up to serve eight houses. So that basically has eight individual fibers that go into that and terminate on a single port that then goes to each house a drop that goes to each house. So you'll spin that up to the cable and then drag the cable down my direction here. There probably won't be one put on the pole in front of my house, but there'll be one probably put on the next pole down because they usually do them every two spans. And then all the drops to the houses on either side are taken up to the map that's closest to them. Now all the fibers from here, they all go back. Each individual fiber goes back to the fiber distribution hub, which is where the optical splitters live, and each single fiber coming in will feed 32 homes. So while one guy is uh, hooking up the, the nap, his partner is stringing out the fiber to the next span so that once they've got it attached to the pole they can just uh, drive up the street and pull the spinner up and spin the cable up.
What's that big coil hang over there too? I'm looking at you go down from there. So at every pole, the uh, spinner has to be removed from the messenger, and the spinner wire has to be manually cut and tied down, otherwise it's going to unravel and the cables are going to fall down, so he has to cut it, spin it up manually, and attach it to a, either to an RA or to some other fastener that's already on the pole, or onto a, what we call a span clamp. So you'll tie it up to the pole there and hook it up to an existing span clamp that's in place. And then he'll put the spinner on the other side and uh, continue down to the next pole. This actually brings back memories for me because one of the first jobs I had when I was in high school I worked for the summer for a local cable company and uh, we were putting up cable in a uh, community that never had cable before and I got the opportunity to actually be the guy up in that uh, the, the bucket there and I tell you that that spinner that he's putting on the cable it's not light that thing weighs come on, 50 pounds I mean it weighs a bloody ton and you do this for a day and you really feel it was uh, the most work I ever did when I was a teenager was working for the cable company spinning up cable. So basically they're putting up two eight port naps or network access ports and uh, there's 12 houses I think there's 12 houses maybe 13 um, on my block so there's a few spares so that if someone needed an additional service they could add an additional service but there's not much extra capacity that is built in with uh, with fiber because you know, you, there's no way you'd ever need more than one service to a house. 
so they have some spares in there just basically in case some get damaged or if someone was to, you know to have a, a suite or something that were needed a second uh, service he's now he's attaching the spinning wire to a span clamp he's got the new uh, nap mounted and uh, once he gets that spinning wire tied up all he needs to do is hook up to the spinner again and uh, start pulling the spinner down to the next pull you notice that the other drops are over top of the spinner it's over that guard wire what that there is for is because obviously he doesn't want to spin up a drop going to the neighbor's house that has to be separate all he wants to do is spin up the new fibers to the existing messenger so anything that doesn't it's not spun down to the cable is actually pulled around the spinner and over that guard rail They spin up fiber or cable onto the messenger. In the coming uh, few weeks, that nap will be populated and feeding all the houses in my area here. And there's another one up here that will be feeding the houses down in the next block. But that's, uh, that's it. They've spun fiber up now in my neighborhood. Exciting times ahead. We're going to talk gigabit internet will be our capability.